Hello, it's your man Jeremy Hassel, the original grown-ass kid, with another grown-ass kid. You should know his face. It's Damien Faye, TRL star. How you doing, man? How are you? Good to have you. Uh, good to have you here at the party. It's great. So tell me, people know this is a party that they're watching right now. We'll let them see a little later. <laughs> then the stopping goes it gets. <laughs> no, there's gonna be a lot more people coming later. So what's this whole event tonight? Tell me what's going on. Um, MTV Mobile is launching uh, uh, shorts. It's shorts.mtv.com, and the three or four minute um, shows of sketches and, and, and this, all sorts of different things. Um, and I have a show called Damien's Other Show. Uh, you're probably familiar with, with TRL. That's my sh first show. This is my other show. So um, it's, it's just a collection of a lot of comedy pieces that uh, me and my, my friends, who are a lot of writers and producers, have come up with. And we get to showcase them on shorts.mtv.com. Really? Yeah, and it's fun. And it's like a great way to express myself. So I'm excited about it. So what's the whole thing behind this? How did you and your friends even decide to start doing sketches? Um, we did, you know, we just have always kind of had these thoughts I guess you know uh, during rehearsal at TRL a lot of the times there's a lot of downtime so we would just we would just like look outside and look at the people walking in Times Square and we have this bit that's called Donut or Done It and that was kind of born out of being boring being bored at TRL rehearsal you look down you were like oh, I think have they more recently has that girl had a donut or has she done it and it's like I think she's done it that girl's definitely done it she's got a tattoo on her lower back she's done it you know so it's like we did that it's like that's a really good idea we might want to um we might want to make that into like a bit of some sort and luckily it was we had all these bits kind of lined up and then um i went out to la to uh uh be one of the guys to take over for craig kilborn on the late late show so we got to employ all these ideas and all these bits out there and uh they went over really well so we're using them now again here for the other show really so for the other show how did you even approach mtv to do this um it was very, very easy because uh, a lot of my friends, you know, work in the business. So they're writers and they're producers. So it was an easy sell. You know, it, we uh, basically, you know, you have me um, as, as the face of the show. You have all my friends who are uh, writers and producers. And, uh, you know, we'll come up with the content. We'll produce the content. We'll edit it. We'll take care of it. Just give us a budget and, and, and we'll do all the work. And you just can put it up on your website and, you know, get the hits and enjoy it. So yeah. we went to mtv.com and said, I have this great other show that I'm doing right now. Yeah. What were their concerns at you? I'd like to know the behind the scenes on that. Their concerns? You know, I got to say, sometimes they kind of pull the reins back a little bit. We like to go a little bit, uh, especially with our brainstorm sessions, it gets pretty dark. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we come up with, we have to be like, well, we have to temper it to a certain audience. But uh, it's definitely a lot more expressive of what you see on TRL, which is really what I, you know, what I enjoy doing. So tell me right now about your lifestyle. I'd like to know what do you do. What's your what's your daily like day? What do you do? Um, well, usually after my uh, my seventh massage, I uh, <laughs> water aerobics is always no. Uh, I, I get up and it, it changes from day to day, but we tape TRL Monday and Tuesday, so those are full days. Wednesday, usually shooting a lot of different shows. Uh, Thursday, I have a radio show that I do, and then Fridays are usually my days off, which are like for uh, uh, meetings or maybe there's no meetings. Maybe I'm like swiffering, uh, the so the, yeah, swiffering my apartment floor or like, you know, uh, dust bustering the sofa because I have two cats and a dog. Two cats and a dog. With my girlfriend, yeah. It's a zoo. It's a zoo, yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend's actually hairier than my dog and my cats combined. I didn't say any of that. Very, very hairy. So so what's the best part you would say about your lifestyle? Um, the best part about my lifestyle is, uh, you know, to, to give you a very serious answer, I think it's just about like, I get to have fun and get paid for it, you know, and, and it's not really, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not bending steel somewhere, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a really kind of, I don't want to say easy, but it feels pretty natural to me, at least, you know, getting on television and interviewing people. And I'm just really blessed to, to be in this position and, and had the opportunity and to get together with my friends and, and, uh, and do all this, you know, and take it to another level is another, yet another blessing. How many websites do you go to every day? I am on, uh, oh, I hate to say, it. you know, I'm a news, I'm a news junkie and I, I, I don't want to come off sounding like super in, Mr. Intellectual, but I do love CNN. I love uh, uh, New York Times, but on the other side of that, I love uh, PerezHilton.com. I'm always on Perez Hilton. That D negates everything you just said. I know, right? <laughs> D-listed is another really good one. I don't know who writes that, but it's really, really funny. Um, and I've got a couple friends, uh, writer friends with like comedic blogs too, which I always love checking out. So I'm all over the place. And then of course, you know, there's the um, there's the porn. 
<laughs> you see how the voice went deeper when he talked about the porn? That's how you got him, man. A lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of porn. <laughs> now, for the last people watching who would love to be doing what you're doing, writing bits, yep. being on television, what advice would you give them to get started into broadcast and whatnot? Uh, there's really, I mean, it's, there's really no traditional path, I guess. It's just, um, you gotta do what you love to do, and that's how it started for me, starting in radio, you know, uh, uh interning when I was 14 and, and working throughout high school and then working throughout college as a DJ. It's all I wanted to do. The MTV thing kind of just came to me as an opportunity, and I said, I'll, I'll give it a shot, you know. And next thing you know, it, it opened so many doors, and, and I'm and I'm here, you know. So it's great. It's a really follow what you find something you love, plug away at it, and something good will happen. I promise you. Don't equate though um, success with being famous, and don't equate famous with being, you know being being successful. That's very important. Ooh. Yeah, that's a jewel in hip hop. You call that dropping jewels on people? You just dropped a jewel right. Oh, is this, wait, this is gonna be seen by hip hop fans. All right. Yo, 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 listen, we gotta do this interview over. <laughs> we gotta do this interview over, son. This is before the drink, so it's about to get interesting. I don't so. wanna be the white guy who does that, though. That's always so lame. No, it's okay. Well, I came out. Okay, all right, all right good. Working. All right. You worked, you kept going with it. I know. So, when is the whole MTV.com thing starting? When can they check it out? It's on, uh, it's up right now. Shorts.mtv.com. Hit up the website, and we have uh, new episodes bi weekly. So, every two weeks, you're gonna check it out. That's it. You can yeah. see them daily on TRL, now MTV.com, and next, probably president. Is that gonna happen? That's, no, man. I'm gonna let, <laughs> let Obama deal with that first, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah. That's it, Damien. So nice to meet you, man. Well, fun Thanks. tonight, all right? Appreciate it. You guys. Stay tuned.